Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel for another iRacing video and as you can see we're moving up in the world we've uh, got ourselves a rig set up finally <laughs> uh, let's see if it can make a difference in the uh, in the actual racing shall we so we're uh, we're at Alton Park today in the Radical really enjoyed that car at Oran Park um, I missed out on Sebring last week which was uh, a shame I really wanted to run that one but uh, just didn't have time really so yeah back in the Radical Alton Park this was actually the track when I first tried to race the Radical didn't really know what I was doing to be honest I'd just run it a couple of times in a test drive and that was the bees and knees and went off in the first corner got 10 minutes of repairs and <laughs> that was about the end of the race there so uh, i think uh, things can only get better than that really but uh, so we've done this race a couple of times already and it's not gone amazingly well to be honest um but third time's a charm um, we've qualified decent it's not not amazing but not terrible either so let's jump into the car and let's see how we can get on all right here we go in the radical at alton park this is the very first circuit i ever drove in uh, in i racing here a story in itself. We've uh, qualified P9 but on my own worst enemy on the first lap of this track so far. Just keep looping it. First race I end up coming home P19 and 35 seconds away from P18. And then second race looped it in the first lap twice <laughs> but managed to recover to P6 I think it was in the end. So just need to try and literally keep it pointing in the right direction. A decent result should come. In the dual clutch, see if it can give us a bit of an advantage off the line here. Green, green, green. It does. A couple of positions there, a bit of an alien start really. All right, nice. Selling this first lap. It's a bit of a bit of a traffic jam ahead of us. And one car, one car's gone straight ahead there. Pretty feisty off the line and eventually it bit him. Bit of a concertina, a bit of an accordion going on. Break quite early just so we can see what's going on. I find just a little bit of pressure on the brake pedal obviously puts the brake lights on and so that just sort of lets the guy behind know that you're about to be slowing down as well. I sort of I don't go straight onto full anchors. This has been a, a nemesis corner all week. Going too hot into the first half of the chicane and then looping it through the second half. Survived it this time. You know the deal with me, I'm always quite timid on the uh, opening lap call tyres. Just want to survive the first lap and then let the racing come later on in the race. Alright, this might be the first time that I've actually survived the first lap then. So that's a bonus. And we're up to fifth position. I'm gonna miss that apex by a country mile. As long as we don't run wide on the exit, then it's fine. Put a little bit of a gap to the guy behind. I think the guy that's behind me at the minute, um, I think I overtook him in the last race and I was able just to pull away from him, so I think hopefully I should have the pace on him. And so far we're keeping up with the guys ahead. So that's good. Oh, thought it was going then. Alright, time to get the head down, see what I can do about the guys in front. It's a long race and there's been lots of mistakes throughout the whole field in the race I've been, uh, been a part of so far. Let's just hope I've got all of my mistakes out of my system. We can get a couple of freebies from the guys in front as Luigi in front gets a bit squirrely coming off that corner. Didn't take advantage of it though because I ran hot into the corner. I was nearly, uh, I was nearly around myself. Quickest time so far on this track is about a 25.4, I think it was. I really like to break into the uh, 
into the 24s. That'll be a good pace that I should be aiming for. Might be able to uh, pinch a 24 if I can stay in the draft and just get towed along a little bit. been downshifting to third for that double right hander at the minute I'll probably be staying in fourth later on in the race just don't trust the tyre grip for now to try and be carrying fourth gear speed through there see even now through that last corner there still wanting to come around on me these two ahead are just gapping me ever so slightly need to pull my finger out a little bit There's one thing that's not blindingly obvious in racing already, but is so apparent in this car, is how important the apexes are. Although it uh, sort of seems very much like a downforce car, this Radical, it also seems to be um, a bit of a momentum car. Yeah, it's got loads of power, but you can't really put that power down too quickly, otherwise you just uh, get wheel spin, so... You really need to keep that momentum going through the corners, hitting those apexes. Times are pretty decent at the minute. I don't really feel like I'm pushing too hard either. I think the toe is just uh, helping to drag us along. It's using that slipstream. A bit of a battle ahead. Is that for E3? P2, in fact, isn't it? P1 scampering away from us, though. This is what happened in the race uh, just before this one. P1. Uh, just, yeah, got a break on the first lap and just never looked back. This battle ahead is just enabling us to uh, stay in touch a little bit, which is nice. Plus, we always love a good battle on track, but... If these guys were to take each other out and give us a freebie, we wouldn't be wouldn't be complaining too much. It's starting to get very uh, sort of twitchy and lots of movement ahead. Goodness sake. Have to see if that's damaged us or not. Fingers crossed we can have got away with it. It was 
well it felt like really gentle contact in the end of it basically stopped and it just <laughs> it just kept on being in the middle of the track where Jenny Jen Jendi Booty Jendi Boo B has uh, got past all of us there definitely not about to entertain a move from, uh, from a back marker sticking his nose in there Alright, so I think we gained one lost one there. Car feels alright, just don't know about the top end speed. Don't seem to be dropping that much in a straight line. I think we're a little bit further out of the toe than maybe we have been. It's just hard to compare at the minute. Ah, so unfortunate. Nine times out of ten when a car's spinning like that they'll, uh, they'll sort of keep the trajectory going outwards and head off onto the grass or the gravel. But it just <laughs> held his brakes to be fair to him, but it just meant he stopped right in the middle of the track. And Jen Doobie is now keeping the gap, pulling away from us. I think the car probably is a bit more damaged top end speed than I'd like. We were doing 25s before. That was a 26. So there's a couple of mistakes in the last race from uh, Gendubi. So maybe might end up making a mistake and uh, lifting us that position back. But at the minute, I don't have the pace to, uh, to answer to these guys. Might even be susceptible to the guys behind by the end of the race here. Got enough time to catch up. You got a car on the left. It's probably for position. It is for position. That's up to P4 then. That was uh, that was the leader that spun out. Was it? No, I might be lying. It was the number one car. That might even be a lie as well. I don't know. I'm just going to... Uh, it was P2. I'm just looking on the map there. The map doesn't update straight away. P2 spun out there then. Up to fourth then, but with a wounded car. And uh, P5 is catching us, Edward. Edmund, sorry. And here he uh, looks like he's coming now, got past the back marker. It's just going to be that top end speed that kills us, I reckon. hoping that if we can keep our lines clean that eventually maybe Edmund will make a mistake and drop back from us Straight away to the race to have gone so far. Got up in someone else's solo spin. It's taken all our pace away. We've got a back market to contend with now as well. Come on, man. Missed that apex by a mile. 
Try and use this toe from Vincent a little bit, try and give us some speed. Reckon Edmund's gonna get us down the straight here. Gonna fight it a little bit. Don't wanna just roll over. It's probably just gonna drive straight past us though, to be fair. survived it for now. Got a Colin behind catching us up now as well. One and a half seconds behind. So disappointing the way the guys in front have just driven away there. Edmund's not quite as close this lap as he was last lap. Let him have it if he goes for it. Sort of sticks his nose in, but then uh, never makes the send. I even braked, braked early to uh, to let him have it. Maybe that old classic where we're going to end up slowing, slowing ourselves down. He's got it this time. Got the nose in front. Now I just need his toe for as long as possible. See if we can uh, put a bit of a gap on Colin behind. Really don't want to fall out of the top five. Right, there goes another one then, back into our top four position. Can't help but feel Edmund was uh, driving on his mirrors a little bit there, he was defending fresh air. But yeah, I thought he'd have realised the fact that I'm just slow in a straight line, my car's damaged, just got no answers. Looks like Colin dropped back a little bit just then as well through the uh, last couple of corners. So it's not over, we might be able to hold on to this position.
I'm almost wondering if Colin behind has got damage as well because uh, he's not really catching us despite the lack of pace. In fact, he might be the guy that we, uh, we clattered into when he self-spun or when, uh, when P2 spun out. I can't remember the names of either of those guys. So that's maybe who it was. What's good for me is there's now a, a block in between myself and, uh, and Edmund who has got pace. Oh, I say that and I just realised that Colin's gone and Edmund's back behind us. So Colin's uh, caved into the pressure. Five laps with a five second gap. And Edmund is lapping about a second faster, so we'll be getting close by the end. So hard walking that fi fine line between not overdriving into a mistake and losing all of the time, but also not underdriving that you just just slow, you know. Felt like I was just a bit timid through that uh, that tight chicane that time. Alright, four to go, and the gap is down to four seconds, in fact it's three and a half. I saw from the, the battle earlier that Edmund wasn't the most uh, sort of decisive in his passing, so maybe we'll be able to use that to our advantage. Once he does get in striking range, might be able to just hold him up a little bit for that last lap. He's got a little bit of pressure from behind as well, so hopefully he'll be concentrating more on his mirrors and out of the front of his car. Better through that tight section that time. In fact, it was almost an optimum sector of the race. Getting a bit of a better uh, predicted predicted lap time for this lap. Oh, I just lost it all in that corner though. Three laps and three seconds. Just holding on for now. Edmund almost setting 24s is uh, pretty rapid as the number one car. I think I might have braked an entire marker too early then. Come on, keep the concentration, man. <laughs> this isn't the time to zone out. Looks like P3 might have had a spin, there was a lot of smoke there and the gap is uh, decreasing for the first time all the race. Sure he'll find his feet again and then pull away though.
Two laps to go and the gap's at 1.3 seconds. back markers hopefully they play nice with us <laughs> getting all kinds of squirrely there and the gaps down to half a second One more lap to hold on for. Thanks, Jack. Gonna have to take the defensive line at every single corner. I almost wasn't getting stopped then. Oh, and it all ends in tears. There is a car stop though. Oh, we've got them both back. I don't believe it. What the fuck? I don't believe whatever just happened there. <laughs> we're getting we're helping people. <laughs> what a race that was. Oh dear me. What a race, Edmund. Nice racing, man. Well, I don't believe it. That's an <laughs> absolute gift. I'll, uh, I'll have to throw a replay for what happened there. That's an <laughs> absolute gift after we threw it all the way by ourselves. Unbelievable. We'll take a P4. We never got an, uh, an incident point for that final spin as well. Crawling round at a zero mile an hour spin. We'll take those. We take those. was the end of that race there i mean we're gonna take the result all day long <laughs> finally managed to bin it by ourselves, but then get rewarded by getting the position straight back again sort of two turns later so <laughs> we're gonna take that all day long that was um i think that was edmund's second or third spin of that race there so really feeling the pressure the car was getting the better of him it seemed and i managed to benefit from that so uh yeah happy days i'm not complaining with the b4 there and um, that's actually put our i rate into 1.8k for i think that might be the highest highest it's been so Onwards and upwards, just need to stay away from that Ferrari challenge now, because that's where rating goes to die, apparently, so... <laughs> yeah, so, that's going to be everything for this video, so if you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up, it really helps the uh, channel out, and consider, sub <laughs> and consider subscribing if you're new here, and you've not done that already. Other than that, take it easy and look after yourselves, and I'll catch you in the next one. Yeah.